All right. So to take Microsoft exams, they're called concept review exams. You're going to first sign up and you're going to log in. But before that, you have to sign up right here. You click sign up here, fill all this out. Okay, I can't give this to you. You have to do this. It's got a, an asterisk on it. It's necessary and needs to be filled out. If it doesn't have an asterisk, like a student number, you don't need that. Okay, be accurate with your first name and last name because that's how I'll be checking you. You know, accept and confirm. Now, when you've done that, you're going to sign in. Okay, after signing in, you're going to start a new test. This is the exams you're going to take. Office 2019, you're doing Microsoft Word first, then PowerPoint, then Excel. Do not be experts. So we'll do Word first. Okay, you're going to do training, concept review one, and concept review two, training mode and testing mode. You take training first in concept review one. You have to pass it. And after you've passed it, you will take testing mode. Okay, and you will do the same for concept review two. Training mode here. When you start the exam, here's what it looks like. I'm just going to go through this with you fast. You're going to start a new test. When you start a new test, okay, um, which tab is used to create a blank document? It's file. All right, so let's just say they're all multiple choice, by the way. This is concept review. It involves no download. You saw I took it. I'm taking this on the Internet. It's fine. Now, let's say that it's time for your next class. Okay, you got to go. You go to next. All right, see this little save thing? You click it. And you can go to save and exit. Now, let's say that you don't know the answer to something and you're stuck. You click on the help thing and it gives you the directions here. By the way, testing does not do that. So, you know, just be mindful of that. Now, this one here is when you're finished with an exam. You've done all of the multiple choice questions and now you're done. You don't do save and exit. You do finish. And that is how you complete an exam. So I will complete this exam really quickly finish I'll just finish it I'm not gonna save it I'm gonna end it I got a really poor score I got one answer right out of the whole lot and yes excuse me and yes this reviews everything and tells you what you got wrong or right in depth it, like it goes into exactly you didn't know page number settings well because I didn't do it but I just did how to make a new blank tab alright that's how you save your exams okay now after you've taken an exam and this example is here. Guys, I want you to do this. You're then going to go to, this is how to take an exam. This is to review your scores. Okay. When you click review your scores, it's going to show you exactly how to use this information and make a notebook out of it. And this here is to set up your notebook. That's the last thing you've got to do. So take the exam first. Pass it, fail it, doesn't matter review your scores after you have reviewed your scores you're then going to click here and set up your notebook and these are tutorials that i have made that show you guys exactly how to do everything okay like if you click on set up your notebook here it'll just show you the last thing here i have people that are struggling with this notebook thing they're like what what, what am i supposed to do how do i okay as we move forward down the notebook, I show you how to alphabetize a table of contents. I'm alphabetize this list. And I also show you guys how to use the information from your exams right here. Score. The score of this one was a 526. Just a now, over here, score 526. Let's say you answer everything. You're ready for a new table of contents. That table of contents should be a little smaller. Put your new score up here. Basically, I made it into a science on how you guys can review all of your test scores. If you put your score on here too. All right. And uh, every one of those answers that you got wrong, I made a, a way that you can research them. And it's a really effective way to set up your notebook. Now, the only thing I want to mention to you is that if these scores don't go up right here on your Microsoft, sorry, on your Microsoft testing, if next time you take this exam, the score doesn't go up, 
well, then we're going to have a little intervention with your notebook. Every time you take an exam, set up your notebook, fix all these wrong terms, follow in those directions, then take it again, and I expect perfect scores because when you go for the license, there's no help. Okay, there's no help with that. All right, you guys will be just fine. You need assistance. Everything is tutorialed here in Microsoft Teams for you guys. You're going to be all right. All right, and uh, take the exams in sequence. Do training one, then do training two. Follow every direction. Uh, follow all the posts, and, and please contact me when you guys need me, as you always do in the chat, and we're always talking. All right, that'll be that. Thank you.